welcome to Erica's Best, where I bring you the best of the best and more. Well, today, guys, I am still in Atlanta, hanging out with my two nieces and my daughter and my mom and dad and enjoying their beautiful new home. And, um, you know, we've been doing uh, a few things with apples. And so um, I have some apple puree that I made from some of the apple scraps after she finished juicing all the apples because we made apple juice today, homemade apple juice. And so I have some of the puree. So I'm going to use that puree and make an apple spice cake. So I have all of my ingredients here and we're going to get to it. So we're going to need one and a quarter cup of oil, two cups of sugar, three eggs. If you're using the jumbo size eggs, you need three, one teaspoon of vanilla, three cups of flour, one teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of baking powder, one and a half cups, I mean one and a half teaspoon of cinnamon, three cups of the apple puree, and if you want nuts, you can put nuts in it. I'm not putting nuts in it because I don't really like nuts on the inside of my cake, so I'm not doing that. So that's what we're doing, and we're gonna get to it. So first, we're just going to add all of our um, all of our wet ingredients, and then we'll add our dry ingredients to that. So our wet ingredients are the one and a quarter cup of oil. So I'm gonna add that. And I'm sure I have some egg crackers in the house. Everybody crack an egg right here in this bowl. I'm gonna check my pass it around, so crack it in the bowl. A little bit harder. There you go. There you go. Good job, Lolly. All right, now Naomi, crack your egg. Wonderful. I'll take your egg and the last egg, Nevea. Good job. Now you can throw all the shells away. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to add the eggs in and I'm going to turn the mixer on. There's a I'm gonna turn it on. And we're just gonna give that a quick little mix for about a minute just to get the eggs fully incorporated into the oil. And then we're gonna add the sugar in. Yes, you can add it in. Kind of like canned pumpkin puree. Canned pumpkin puree is a little darker than fresh pumpkin puree. So I'm just going to scrap that down, scrape that down rather. Okay, we give that a little mix. And now I'm going to add in three cups of this puree. One. Jiggly applesauce. What does that mean? <laughs> Jiggly applesauce. Okay. 
two. And this is the third cup. Three. Three. Okay, now we're gonna give that a little whip. I can Yes, you can. Turn it on a little higher. Give a good whisk. A little higher. A little higher. Why is it turned off? It hit you. It got your eyeball. It got your eyeball? You don't know, it's got your eyeball on. It's, it's too, it's too powerful to turn on pins. I think you got a little okay. thing. Now we're gonna add the flour. We're gonna add the flour, the salt, and the cinnamon, and the baking powder. All that goes in. Turn that on low, just on number one, just to get it going, just to get it going, and a little higher, to get it all mixed up, give it one more little whip, go ahead, turn it up, that's good. to put something on your pan to make sure that your cake doesn't stick. So we're gonna, we, so I put flour and butter. So now I'm going to pour this into this pan. They all say it looks like chunky peanut butter, but uh, we're gonna see. It looks like creamy. If anything, it looks like creamy peanut butter, but we're gonna wait to see what it tastes like. <laughs> see if it tastes like peanut butter. This is what tastes like act. That looks. That's what we hope. So I'm gonna let Nevaeh smooth that around. Nice and easy. Alrighty. She has stirred it all up. I'm gonna give it a nice little jiggle, jiggle, jiggle around it. Make sure it's all even in all the corners. And I'm gonna give it a little swank. And you're gonna bake this at a 350 50 degree oven for about 40 minutes. You're gonna check it and uh, if the uh, toothpick comes out clean, then you know it's done. Otherwise, you'll need another, you know, three or four minutes. But just keep your eye on it and um, when you come out with a clean toothpick, then it's ready to go. So we'll see you when the cake is ready. Welcome back to Erica's Best. Our applesauce cake 
It's out of the oven, as you can see. Some little grubbers have been eating some of it already. It turned out delicious. We baked it for about 35 minutes and on 350 degrees in a 350 degree oven. And I have to say, it doesn't need anything. It doesn't need a frosting. It doesn't even need a sprinkling of powdered sugar. It is, it is wonderfully sweet and delicious. Delicious. Wonderful. I guess you see the kids aren't here. Well, they had to go to bed. So we had to finish this cake on our own. This again is my mom, Miss Pauletta. She taught me everything I know about baking. And what I what she didn't teach me, I found out on my own. So she is the reason why I'm here. So um, we thank you for watching. God bless you. See you next time.